Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing, amazing, amazing. Today I have a really exciting little video for you, um, reviewing some discontinued Pleaser Devious Line shoes. So excited to show these off. This is a pair of shoes from Pleaser from their Devious Line. So the Devious Line is famous for their ballet boots, you know, the like freaky kinky tall ballet style boots, um, including pairs that lock and things like that. They make a lot of different fetish shoes actually. Um, <laughs> And I regularly peruse Pleaser's websites because I've had an interest in extreme shoes ever since I was like 13, maybe 12 or 13. Um, and I actually started wearing heels very young because of like the church environment I was brought up in and I always wanted the tallest ones possible. Even before I knew that like there were some much more interesting shoes out there. So, um, yes, uh, these are the tramp styles. So they have like different numbers for each of their different like main styles of shoes. And um, the tramp line is now discontinued. Just to let you know, it's discontinued completely. And they are discontinuing other shoes as well from the devious line. So it's obvious which ones are being discontinued. They've been on sale for a long time. I think there's only one other pair that's really gonna get mixed anytime soon. But yeah, <laughs> just keep an eye out. And I knew these were because you could only get the two smallest sizes for the longest time. Um, so for the past like eight to 12 months, I have been scouring places like Mercari and De Depop and similar things to see if anyone was selling these uh, secondhand. And occasionally I would find some from the Devious line that like, were not my size at all, or they were a different style that I wasn't interested in. But I kept looking, and finally I saw this pair. This was not the original pair that I personally wanted to purchase. I really wanted the sort of like uh, knee-high go-go boot style ones, or the classic Mary Janes with the strap across the top, because that provides the most stability for a shoe most of the time. Um, I hesitated a little bit to buy these specific pair because I just wasn't sure how practical they would be with the way that the strap is built. But I'm so glad I did. So let me show you them a little bit closer. So these are the shoes. I actually don't even know how tall these are. Um, they might be closer to eight and a half or nine inches. They're definitely at least eight. Um, they might be a bit taller. But, you know, they have this sort of like back cuff strap instead of a traditional ankle strap. And I was a little bit nervous about wearing them because I wasn't sure, like I said, how stable it would be. And as I was putting them on, I the way they came was every single lock had a pair of keys shoved into it. And I thought that this was all for aesthetic my naive little brain. See, they all came with the actual keys dangling off of it. And I figured that this cuff was completely just for looks. And I was wrong. These are all functioning locks. You get four pairs of keys that each have three keys on them for some reason. It's a bit excessive, but they really want to make sure you can get out of them. But this is actually how you put them on. You have to lock and unlock them which is obviously a strong um, uh, sort of fetish undertone, uh, which happens to be very much so up my alley, especially anything with locks. So once I realized it was a functioning locking cuff, I lost my mind and was so glad that I bought these. Now, I will say I bought a size nine. I'm about an eight and a half. And I saw reviews on this style of shoe, specifically one of the tramp shoes, saying that it ran small. These are a little bit big on me. Um, I'm sure you can tell in the uh, video clip that I'll insert in the beginning, but um, I still feel comfortable wearing them. I probably, I say I wouldn't do anything acrobatic in them, but I kind of already did. So, um, but I not only have been wearing heels since I was very young, but also I've been very into yoga 
lately and I've built up a lot of balance. I've been doing like headstands and stuff. Like, I have really good balance. Don't compare yourself to me. If these shoes scare you, maybe don't buy them. But if they don't scare you, fucking keep looking for them because they are just so stunning. I love the silhouette. That's particularly why I wanted these. I just felt like there's not really any other platform out there right now that has this kind of silhouette. There's the devious um, logo there. It's so pretty. I love the sexy box, honestly. Oops. Look at her. She's living her best life. Absolute best life. I had this propped up on a stuffed animal because I didn't know how else to get it there. These look a little bit foggy because I had some body oil like on my legs while I was posing with them earlier, but they are like a nice black patent shiny leather. I just was not successful with cleaning them before this video. <laughs> but yes, they do not run small. That is incorrect. They run pretty um, normal for pleaser shoes. So I probably could have gotten an eight, which is what I normally buy from them. Um, and also normally with really tall heels, you want them to squeeze you a bit so that you feel more stable. Like I said, I just have really great balance, so I feel comfortable in these, even walking around on my rickety wood plank balcony. I feel comfortable with it, but that's just me because I've had a lot of practice. So yeah, um, is there anything else I should say? They feel very sturdy. Like they're definitely shoes that can get scuffed up and stuff and they already look pretty imperfect just from the person who previously had them trying them on and I think wearing them like once or something like that and also me um getting body oil on them and running around doing crazy stuff in them but I personally am not someone who minds shoes looking like they've been worn and loved like I actually like that uh with my shoes over time so yeah but they feel pretty sturdy honestly you know I am a little worried about you know over time the way that this is sewn on here I feel like that's not gonna last me forever, you know? But I am a very crafty person. I could probably still... <laughs> uh, I'm a very crafty person. I could probably still find some way to salvage these even if that happened. Even if it just meant I had to just completely remove this and just wear them like this and not really walk around in them much. Um, I would love to collect more of the Tramp shoes. I also really like the... Um, femme shoes, uh, that's the, what the line for those is called. Um, those are definitely going out of production though, so I'm gonna have to look for those um, elsewhere because they only have the two smallest sizes available and they have for months, which is exactly what they did when they were phasing out these. Um, so yeah, I want those and I want the Scream ones, which are extremely like painfully sharp, no platform stilettos that are like, it's like a metal spike that's the stiletto yes um i love fetish shoes um both in fetish settings and high fat fashion settings both um it's a big passion of mine so if you ever want to see me talk about any of my other shoes let me know hopefully i'll be able to buy some more now because yeah life's been going a lot better we are finally making money although right now I'm saving for a PC mostly. But yes, there are places where you can see me do more interesting things with these. Figure it out. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Goodbye. Let me know if you want to see anything specific from me. I love you, love you, love you. Bye, bye, bye.